Hi everyone. Um, I've had a number of people ask me about Muse. I do talk a lot about um, doing trades with Muse. I'm just going to quickly um, talk to you about an opportunity that showed up. Uh, I missed this completely. I didn't realize this was happening. But this is generally what happens. And what you could do is um, trade the news in this aspect. Now, um, let me just pull up what's this? Uh, the economic calendar here. Um, see this here? The Australian um, Home Loans release that came up um, and so uh, this was under um, so if we go back um, here to the charts um, I'm in the AUD USD right now the one minute charts and so basically what happened uh, it, it collapsed um, this is what you tend to see when the news happens it will just start falling um, <laughs> Thanks, bridesmaid. Uh, just making a video now. Um, anyway, um, this tends to keep falling like this. Um, what I generally do is this: if I'm on the one-minute chart, I will sit back and I will watch. I, you know, nowhere near experienced enough to try and take the the spikes like the most of the forex traders do. Uh, I think it's it's an amazing way to lose your money if you don't know what you're doing. But what I tend to do is this: I will sit and I'll watch what's going on here. Generally, um, if the Bollinger Band is broken, you need to just let that happen. Um, what you will find gradually with news is that the majority of the, the large part of the candle will stick out underneath it. Uh, sometimes you will see this. Sometimes you'll see this. Uh, uh, what I would generally do is if in this case, um, I will jump onto uh, my broker page. I don't think I've got one open right now. Um, but in sometimes in these cases, I might jump in here, um, you know, not really knowing what's going to happen next, but I might jump in here. Um, but having said that, I will most likely jump in for a period of time. So see, when I put the, the line up here, um, what I'm looking at is the next 10 candles or so. Okay. So. After where I would enter, there is another dip of um, two candles, uh, three, um, and then it'll take probably about four candles to come back up to my level again. Um, and then there's another slight dip below that line. So what I would do in that regard is I, I would most likely go in for a trade any, anywhere in from about 20 minutes to 30 or so onwards. Um, and that is also dependent on whether there is any news happening um, soon after that in relation to these currency pairs. Um, so definitely in, in 20 minutes or so, um, this is great. I, I would have ended up winning that trade. Um, so something along the lines of um, here or so is when my 15 minutes would have started coming up. Um, and I would have been definitely over that mark. Um, I wouldn't go for a massive long trade, guys, uh, primarily because what tends to happen is that sometimes, and I noticed it with the Euro USD and um, Euro Japan earlier today, um, and I think it happened with the Great Britain USD as well, where it did go up for a little while and then it tanked again. So um, you don't want to go in for 45 minute, one hour trades unless you're certain. Um, I would look at this. Um, that's the one, uh, one hour chart, the uh, half an hour chart. This is where the whole um, news release happened. Um, and, and this is quite, um, quite strange. Um, this actually didn't give a signal. And I think this was just a general signal. It wasn't to do with the news release anyway. Um, notice how here, this is actually broken past. Um, without the news release, guys, I possibly would not have looked at doing this trade simply because there's real no guarantees of um, a downturn happening. In this case, I would look at it and think there is a downturn coming. When exactly is that going to happen? I don't know. So even see when with this 30 minute chart, I probably would do a um, probably a 30 minute or 45 minute sort of a trade.
Um, going into the 15 minute, um, see how there's some bounce back happening here. Um, we would have opened, we would have jumped in somewhere around here, I would have said. And again, for about 20 minutes or so. Um, let's see what the five minute charts are doing. So here, guys, um, we would have just been here somewhere, I'd say. Um, and notice how there's a nice trend upwards happening. These are quite great with news. Uh, news will bounce back quickly. So um, you've got a 20 minute, 30 minute window um, for, in which to execute and, and complete the trade and, and so that you have you know, something, you're banking a, a good trade. Um, what else was there that I needed to mention? Um, yes, look, with different currency pairs, I've noticed that uh, you will have different length of retractments happening. Um, I think the US or Euro uh, pairs tend to go a little longer at times. Um, with this, the AUD sort of stuff, um, I, I would generally um, wait about 10-15 uh, minutes or so um, until I see something like this happening. And, and the other thing is also, guys, um, if you were not to enter here, um, generally what I find after news is that something like this tends to happen. See how you have a, a couple of them? Um, this doji, I, I'm, I'm a massive <laughs> advocate to these dojis here, these little ones. They kind of just um, stipulate the market is uncertain and so they are headed somewhere. Um, you will have a gradual idea by the following candles that show up and in these cases you know there's an upturn happening um, and, and so you could also enter somewhere around here but for a shorter period so maybe uh, 15 minutes or so, 15-20 minutes or so maximum. Okay, um, I think that's about it for this video. Cheers.